So, now we've come to uh, another stand where we've got a nice little basic straightforward rabbit. Rabbits are one of those shots that you either love them or you hate them. They're a bit like the original pot shots of the, of the, of the clay shooting world. And uh, but to be fair, when you used to have manual traps, uh, a rabbit used to used to be able to do lots of different things. Where you used to be able to make it bounce, used to do all sorts of different things. But obviously now you've got the machines that do it. Um, it's a little bit more difficult. You've got a rabbit. You've got different different options with that machine. Uh, but obviously you haven't got a person there trapping it, so you've kind of restricted to that uh, to the way that that machine throws it. Um, but 90% of rabbits, people, the one thing people don't understand is whether, whether a rabbit is 10 yards away or a rabbit is 40 yards away. Every time that rabbit hits the ground, it's slowing down. Now, I've always find that most people miss rabbits high and in front. And they're trying to, if I can just use the gun, the rabbit runs along like that and they go through, they think, oh, that goes far. And they miss it over the top there. And I always think to myself to, when I talk to my clients is come through the bottom edge of that rabbit and think to yourself, hold your nerve and shoot its front feet. And if you tend to think it should shoot that and come underneath the rabbit, most rabbits places, especially at these big grounds, the rabbits are all in sort of roughly the same place. So you know where everyone shot it. And even if you shoot the tops of the grass, think to yourself, anything just to get yourself down underneath that rabbit, rather than up here over the top of it, missing it over the top. And that's a bit the biggest thing that you need to think about is how you approach that rabbit. You need to look at the rabbit. Where is the easiest place to kill that rabbit? Where do you first see it? It might go uphill, it might go downhill, but you need to think to yourself, where do I see that rabbit? Where is the easiest place for me to shoot that rabbit? And that kill point is gonna be different for everyone. Some people like to shoot a rabbit early, some people like to shoot a rabbit late, some people like to shoot a rabbit in the middle of its path. So that's really the first thing you wanna be thinking of. So if I can just ask, just to have a look at one rabbit, Paul, there we go. Nice, basic, straight forward rabbit, about 30 yards away, going fairly slow. Um, and you need to be thinking, I like to shoot a rabbit really dead in front of me, dead in front of the middle of this path. I'm gonna pick the rabbit up from where I see it. I pretty much see it as it comes out of the trap. Halfway between those two points is my hold point. Now you've got to think to yourself on every target, rabbit included, there's no point having the, the clay coming across there or the rabbit coming across there. And when you mount that gun, you, ha you have your gun up here rather than below, just slightly below the line of that target. Think to yourself when you start, have the gun slightly below the line of that target so you can come up and you can see the clay as it comes out. So let's have a go at shooting that rabbit. So again, my feet are gonna be pointing where I kill my target. So that's why I'm gonna kill it. Come back to my hold point, pull. And I kill it like that. Now you notice one other thing, this rabbit I shoot gun up. Now to me, when you're shooting sporting, definitely, obviously you've got Olympic disciplines and you've got FITAS, which you shoot gun down, all of them. But on sporting, you need to, to me, you need to be able to shoot both techniques. You need to be able to shoot gun up and gun down. I like to shoot things like rabbits and going away birds gun up because then you've got, you've got more time to let it come out. Things like what I've just shot that takes a long time to get there, I'll shoot gun down. And it, each target is different, each stand is different. You don't want to stand and shoot the whole 100 sporting, getting your shoulder like that, because by the time you get to the end of the 100 sport, you're going to be tired. So you need to be thinking different, different technique for different targets. And that's the hardest thing. That's the more practice you can get, that's how you'll find out as you go along, whether you shoot it gun up or gun down. I like to shoot rabbits gun up, but then I like to shoot sort of driven targets. I like to shoot big long crosses, slightly gun down, just so I've got a little bit more visibility when I see the clay come in. Let's just have a couple more of those rabbits. Oh. Pull. 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 That's really the rabbit. Nice, basic, straightforward rabbit. But that's the technique you want to be using, whatever that rabbit, whether it's close, whether it's... If it's a little bit further away, then you need to be thinking a little bit more lead. But generally, majority of rabbits, if you think come underneath it and shoot its front feet, you're going to kill most of it. 
Now we've got a nice high crosser. Again, a lot of grounds have got big high banks that they've built. Some, some are naturally made, some are man-made. Now, most grounds we here at the Oxford Gun Company, we use those, those big banks quite a lot for putting targets off because it's nice to have some places a, a target right up in the sky just to see just to see the topography and using that topography on that ground. So next target I'm gonna see is a standard crossing standard off the top of the bank going into the fir tree there. Obviously my limitation is the fir tree, I already know that. So cool pull. So again, nice straightforward. Again, about 35, 35 yards away, 30, 40 yards away, something like that. A nice standard crossing in front of me there. Now again, this is something I'm gonna shoot gun down because it comes from a long way and takes a long time to get to me. So I'm gonna have my gun. I've picked where I'm gonna, where I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna kill it just before the tree there because obviously the standard's coming off the arm and it slows down a little bit there. I'm gonna pick it up. I can see where it's coming from. I can see the trap. Obviously some of these targets, you can't see the trap, so you don't really know where it is. But this one, I can see the target all the way from when it leaves the trap all the way to when it hits where the end of the target is. So I'm gonna shoot this one gun down just because it takes me a little bit more time. So again, like I said, that's why I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna hold my gun just there, just underneath the line of my target where my eyes are looking. And I'm gonna cast my eyes back to the trap pull, let it come out, out in front of it, bang, killed it nicely. So again, that's where I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna drop my gun down, that's my whole point. I'm gonna cast my eyes back to where the target is coming from, pull, look at it, overtake it, bang. And you see when I pull my trigger, I like to pull the trigger and I like to try and keep going with that target. So I, it, it stops me thinking to myself, stop the gun. Obviously I've got a, a limitation there and that limitation sometimes makes people stop the gun, which is not what you want. You want to have that consistent movement of the target all the way through its flight line. Pull. Pull. That's a little crosser, and as you see, my weight is forward. I push it away, touch my sheet, go through it nicely, and I've killed most of the majority of the targets just there in exactly the same place because I know that's my kill point. Now I'm going to put the pair together. Sometimes a pair of targets like that, you might have a simultaneous pair. Now you need to look at that simultaneous pair and think, which way around am I going to shoot it? Obviously on this is a fairly straightforward. You're not really going to be shooting the other way around because the rabbit's gone by the time there. So we're gonna look at the simultaneous pair and I'm gonna kill the rabbit pretty much where I was killing it on the singles, maybe a little bit earlier, because then it leaves me a little bit more space for that. And that's the sort of things you need to think about is where you kill on a simultaneous pair, where you're gonna kill that first target, how will it make my second target easy if I kill that slightly earlier or slightly later? So that's the sort of things you need to think about. So if I have a look at the simultaneous pair, pull, bang, Bang. If I leave the rabbit a little bit later while I was shooting it, the crosser is pretty much in the tree. So you need to think to yourself, it'd probably be easier if I just kill that rabbit a little bit earlier and then it gives me a bit more time on the crosser. So, just like this. So, that is where I'm going to kill the crosser. Pull. Now I kept the gun up then. But now I've decided, I think, as I've got plenty of time on that, I'm gonna shoot the rabbit gun up, and then I'm gonna, just gonna drop my, 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 my gun out my shoulder a little bit for that second target, just to give me a little bit more vision so I can see it. Pull. Just like that, it just, it just helps me that little bit more just to drop that gun out of my shoulder, just so I can see where that target's coming from and I can see that target a little bit more clearer rather than keeping the gun in my shoulder for both shots. Pull. Pull. Oh. 
ho. 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 So, that was your, your rabbit and your high crosser. Um, again, two, two, the right eye cross is a little bit, little bit more trickier, um, but it's kind of a different, just a different, different target to the other one, completely different target. And that's, it's the variety that people, that customers like to look for. Um, not necessarily the hardest target, but it's the variety in using the topography um, of the ground that you're looking for. Right, let's go and find another couple of targets.